everybody, this is Travis from Turbo Donkey Entertainment. Today I'm going to be joined by Steven as we do a Let's Play of Memoir 44 by Days of Wonder. Memoir 44 is a World War II strategy game that was released on the 60th anniversary of the invasion of Normandy. We're going to just be playing through one of the missions, so why don't you come sit down and join us? All right, so today we're going to play mission number 11 out of the Memoir 44 scenario book, The Liberation of Paris. I, Travis, will be playing as the Germans, and... I, Stephen, will be playing as the French Allies. Uh, Stephen is attempting to liberate Paris. The two ways that he's going to be able to get victory points is by destroying my units or taking the outskirts of Paris. Uh, if he ever occupies one of these spaces, uh, he gets to take one of these little tokens, put it on a victory space... And it'll stay there forever and count for him. Regardless of whether or not my units move out of that city tile. And that's pretty fantastic for him. Uh, now usually when, uh, we, when we play a game, we usually get something wrong at some point in the game. Uh, if we get a rule wrong, please feel free to point it out to us. We'd love to know what we're doing wrong. Uh, but I think we've played this enough that we've got the basics under control. Uh, we do have one house rule. Uh, if we do have a card that is useless to us, we can expend it to move one unit. Yes, yeah, so we get to move. Uh, you can use one unit in one, uh, either the left or right flank, or in the center. So it's you know, it lets us cycle out cards. That's actually a rule from the Overlord. Uh, the Overlord rules. Oh, that's right. It's not in the standard game, but it works out really well. Um, simply because sometimes I think it was the third game we played, we ended up in a position where for about seven turns, I literally could do nothing because I would play a card which was useless and draw a card which was useless, and it was just terrible. So we hope to avoid that uh, by in instituting this house rule. Um, in this mission, the only way I can win, I have to destroy five of the allied units, which as you can see, there's quite a few of those uh, grazing that side, of the, that side of the board. So I'm kind of at a disadvantage, but I'm pretty dug in over here protecting Paris, so we'll see what happens. And Steven, I believe you start off. I do. I've got a... Hmm. Assault all left flank. All right. That's horrifying. <laughs> um, infantry can move two, correct? Yes. Uh, or move one and shoot. Correct. So these guys are going to move into the woods there. All right. And anytime you enter into woods in Memoir, you cannot fire out of it. Anytime you enter into a terrain piece because um, it's assumed you're kind of getting your bearings inside that piece. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is to get the extra cover uh, provided by that. I'll go ahead and move. Yeah, I'll go ahead and move them there. Tanks can move up three and shoot up to three. Oh, yep. Uh, or is it two and move shoot three? I believe they can move and shoot three, and I will double check for you. But I'm going to go ahead and move them all up in that spot. And they can guys. move oh, zero to three and battle. Okay. So that is... Close enough. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and do some shooting. Right. Uh, my infantry cannot shoot this turn, so I'll go ahead and use my tanks. Uh, this tank is going to be shooting at that infantry, and so I get... Uh, he cannot shoot at them. Uh, they get... Oh, they're too three, far away. Three. Everybody's oh, too far no, that's away. That's right, he can. That's right. Because they, they always shoot three. They always shoot three. So I get, You'll get one, two. two dice. You'll get two that's dice. Because right. the sandbags, if you can see that on the camera, the sandbags take away a die. I got a one and a retreat. All right, so he kills one unit. And they have to fall back and one space. And the sandbags go away. Yep, the sandbags are no longer useful. So they're out of there. All right. Uh, this tank is going to be shooting at the other uh, infantry unit. All right, go for it. And that's going to be another two dice. And that is nothing. Yep, two stars. The stars are almost always useless, except and on certain cards. the other one, one, two, three, is also going to shoot. And I got one. All right. I'll toss them out. All right, Travis, I'm going to draw a card, and it's your turn. All right, let me see what I want to do here. Um, let's see. I'm going to... Oh, that's the wrong card. I'm going to play an attack right flank three. So I get to move three units on my right flank and then do what I will with them with shooting. So I'm going to move that there. Well, I know where all the battles going to be taking place. Yep, <laughs> I'm, uh, just moving him right there. Um, I'm going to also... Uh, I don't want to... Hmm. I'm not going to move my tanks. In. I'm going to leave them right there where they're Aww. at. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start the shooting. My infantry will get to fire into there. So they've got two dice. Uh, and that got, is wow. one and a retreat. One retreat. Trading off of that. Can I go? i got to go back to two. That's yep. right. Uh, back one space. Well, and i got to go straight back. I can't yeah, go you can't. Right. Yeah, you can't. I was hoping to. So you're out of the woods. Yep. Just toss them in there. Uh, then my tanks are going to shoot at your tanks, and they will get three dice. That's a much more satisfying sound when you throw those yours in. <laughs> yeah. 
It passes over. My arms are not long. Which one are you shooting? I'm shooting at your tanks next to your infantry. With my tank, your tanks? Uh, with my tanks. Okay, I got one retreat. Oh, that's not that bad. So the tanks have to move back one space. Mm, yeah, this. All right. Uh, and your and other infantry. My other infantry are firing into the woods. Did you uh, get an all left flank? Or 3 3? Okay. Yeah. So they're firing into that and uh, they get yeah, a retreat, retreat and an infantry kill. Good turn. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. So I get to draw one card and it is your turn. All right. I'm going to do three left flank. I'm pushing. All right. So those go away. When, you, when uh, tanks run over uh, barbed wire, uh, the wire pieces are removed. Back into the woods. Back into the woods. All right. Uh, tanks on the right will be shooting at the infantry there. All right. Go for it. You'll get three. One. You killed one. And the one on the left will be shooting as well. Hopefully for retreat. <laughs> getting rid of that sandbag. And I got one. So got one. This is not working out as well as I hoped it would for me. So it's not what you wanted, is it? And the infantry cannot shoot because it moved into the woods. So your turn, Travis. All right. Um, I am going to do some see. artillery. Yeah, I wish. Uh, <laughs> artillery would be really nice right now. Dropping all those tanks all lined up back there, or an airstrike or whatever it was. You have artillery. No, I mean like the like the the like off map artillery. Yeah, That'd I know. Be fun. Um, you're just saying I'm that, but you've got one. I'm going to play issue an order to four infantry units. Oh, nice. Um, you only have four. I know. That's that's always fun. <laughs> Wait, don't the artillery count as infantry? Um, no. I can't they remember. might. They I count can't. as infantry when being shot, but I don't think they count as infantry for... Yeah. Let's see. I can't remember. Yeah, they don't count as infantry for okay. uh, for those kind of cards. They do for like... Um, wounds and... Well, not wounds. The, uh, they do for it? something. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> There's something special about them. Uh, so I'm actually not going to do anything with those two because I don't really want to move them anywhere. Sandbags. Because they're in sandbags. They're in a city. Uh, the only thing I would think would be to move them into the forest, but I don't want to risk that. So uh, <laughs> these guys are going to shoot at those tanks. So they'll get three die. Uh, and I got oh. all three. That completely oh. destroyed the tanks. Wait, which one? This one? These guys. Watch it. Oh. Yeah, so I get to move one of these guys over here. Dang, seriously. That was incredible. Wow. Uh, a good satisfaction. That's why sound. I was shooting at the infantry. Yeah, I know. Can't you uh, pass me those back? No. Okay. Yeah, I got two grenades and a tank, which will take out all three, three tanks. tanks. Uh, and then these guys, eh, why not? I'll shoot at the tanks just to see what happens. you be so upset. And, oh my gosh, are you kidding? He just got the other three tanks. It's the exact same result. You've never been that lucky. I have never been that lucky in this game. That is incredible. He almost always loses, especially when playing Germans. Oh my gosh. Man, the Germans are on top of things protecting Paris. This is... They like Paris. This is very frustrating it's for me. It's a gorgeous city to you know take. Very frustrating to me. All right. Hey, you pushed really hard on that flank. Try your card. Did you already shoot all? Of, oh, okay. You yeah, I, I didn't right. want to move those infantry because. Uh, look right from HQ, I get to order four units. Is that four units of your choice? Uh, four units of my choice. Anywhere on the map. Cool. So move these guys up. I'm not gonna get that close again. Yeah, I was just getting rid of that barbed wire. Um, I'm gonna activate the infantry there. All right. And I will also. So you got one more. I know, I know. Go ahead and activate this infantry here. Get them. Should bring them into the woods? Yeah. Actually, I should probably should have moved a tank up, but that's okay. I don't want them shooting into a city because they get hurt pretty bad. Yeah. Don't they get a negative fire penalty when shooting into a city? Yeah, there is a negative fire penalty. So for they fire. couldn't do any damage with the... Because Not from where they're at. Well, they could have done one. Who? They? The tanks. Damage? Oh, uh... Yeah, they would have been able to roll one. Well, no, I think they're actually at a negative two firing. I can't into. remember. Is it? No, it's only if they're hiding out of the cities. It's yeah. Two. As you can tell, uh, if you're still <laughs> if you're still watching at this point, we it's been a while since we last played. It has been a while. Uh, tanks have a negative two penalty firing in and out of tanks. Okay. Villages. So they actually wouldn't be able to touch them at all. Yeah. Uh, tanks have a difficult time battling outside of, or battling within a city. So. Uh, all right. So doing my tank sense. rolls over here. All right. Um, shooting at your infantry. All right. You'll get three. And they're one, one two, two. Yeah. No, no, one retreat. Yeah, right. one yeah. retreat. So he's gonna run back. Um, <laughs> then the other tank's just gonna shoot at. The, oh no, I'm gonna use my infantry squad to shoot at the your infantry squad. Sandbag. So, so you'll get two, two, yeah, because they're in sandbags. And one. You killed one of them. 
This is hold on. I cannot buddy. keep picking these guys off like this. This is terrible. All right, so you get a uh, two. And I'm going to do three for the tanks on the same infantry squad. You only get two because he's. Oh well, it was. I'll re-roll that, even though it's really nice. Um. Yeah. I'll re-roll. I say I was trying to think. Yeah, he's dead. It doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. So you get to put that guy on your. I rolled, I rolled enough. Yeah, I was. I was. I wasn't sure who you were shooting with. I was gonna say <laughs> the it, tank they were shooting. Yeah. Nah, it would have been I wasn't shooting at him. I know. I was thinking oh, if, oh, oh, oh. if you had rolled that and he had been in, oh, within right, range, right, it would right. have been fine. So, oh, right. Should we wait. Your card? Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Yeah, you shot below those and move that guy out of the woods. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to do a recon one left flank just so uh, when you do a recon, you get to order one unit. And then when I draw a new command card, I get to draw two cards and pick the one I want. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to order my artillery here to do uh, it's what, three, three, two, two. And I don't remember if artillery ignore. Uh, I can't remember. I think it does. Ignore line of sight and terrain protections. Yeah. So I get to roll two die. Yep. Uh, two dice. My apologies. Uh, yeah. I got one of them. So that's not too bad. So I get to draw two cards and pick the oops, sorry, pick the one I want. Just stab myself in the throat with a microphone. Good job. Yeah, I know. It was great. So I will sacrifice an all center to keep this card. All right, see you. You probe left flank. I'm going all out left flank. <laughs> you are. You're like you're pushing hard over there. Um. So obviously I'm going to be doing tanks. Yep. I'm going to be shooting at your tanks. All right. So with my left tank squadron shooting at your tank with three and nothing. You killed all the infantry that were on the tanks. Shot the wrong thing. And one, one retreat. retreat. So they will fall back one space. Not what I wanted. All right. Draw your card. I got my card. All right. Um, I'm going to do an attack three center. I only have two. Uh, oh, I do. I have three units in the center. This guy, because he's uh, on the line, which separates them. So I'm going to run him here, hide him in the woods. Let's see in there. Three, two, one, zero in the woods. So my artillery will do three, three, two, two dice of damage. And he got a retreat. a retreat. So they'll have to run back one. I'm okay with that. And draw a card. Is it what I want? It is. You know, it's funny, Steven. There was a... Uh, someone said the other day that there's no strategy involved with this game. You're just playing a card and rolling dice. I disagree. I totally disagree. <laughs> Attack center, three units. Okay. It's all infantry. And he took a nap. <laughs> La French take a nap going in the woods there you can only move one in I know. anyway so. I know yeah that's where they're going uh, yeah. you've got one more you can move oh really it was, oh, yeah, yeah, right. it was, a, yeah. it was a three you're right you're right alright draw your card okay uh, I'm gonna do a pincer move which is two units on the left and right flank so I'm gonna start over here um they're just moving up there. So I'm going to activate both of those. Left and right. The This guy and that guy. So I'll come to my tanks in a minute. So One, one dice. Three, yep, and we one die on them. Got one. <sighs> you were rolling so well today. I know. Uh, the artillery will be three, three, two, two, one. one. Killed the tank. Too bad they didn't bring one with them. <laughs> uh, then my tanks are going to be shooting at yours. So I'll get... Uh, this guy's going to shoot at that one. Mm-hmm. So I got two of them. Oh my gosh. And then uh, shooting at the same one with the yeah. other unit. Combined fire. Got You're it. rolling too well. I know. That's ridiculous. Pretty... You're already at three. You need five victory conditions. I'm two away. You just keep You're saying... not supposed to win this. I know. It's You're not bad. supposed to win this. The Germans are not supposed to hold Paris. Uh, so I get to draw a card. My turn? Yes. I'm going to use behind enemy lines. Move three. Battle with one additional die. Then mm -hmm. move up to three hexes. Uh, behind enemy lines is an amazing card too. It's so One, useful. One, two, three. All right. Gonna you... battle your guy there. With four. All right. Ambush three. I'm doing an ambush, which is when you declare a close assault, which is when you're right next to me. Um, I get to, before you roll the battle dice. I get to attack. Um, and let's see. Yeah. So I get to attack. I'm gonna be so upset. I get three dice. 
Oh my gosh. You know what I was doing. I know. I was getting the medal. I know what you were doing and I just wiped him out. Oh, my little dude in the thing. You shouldn't have even stopped to attack. You should just run. It was too perfect. Oh my god! It was it was one guy, and oh I could have gotten gosh. the kill. You should have gotten that. There's no reason I should have rolled three infantry there. This is the shortest game of memoir I think oh, we will wow. ever have played because you it need one really more is. to win. It really is. This is so not fair. Even if we switch sides, you would win. This is yeah, ridiculous. Just about. I'm I don't know, so you, angry right now. You just can't <laughs> feed me any more. Uh, feed me any more units oh like my that. Gosh. I drew that card and I was like, oh sweet. Ambush. I was gonna get two scores. I was gonna get two that time. No, turn. that wasn't. It would have tied I the game. You should have gotten two. You should have. I would have so tied. I would have gotten, gotten that. I would have gotten three. Oh yeah, I drew goodness. it and I was like, oh, in a couple of turns he'll be right on top of me. And yes, I'm like, yeah, would. knock him uh, out. Yeah, oh you would have. Uh, because I wanted to rush and get that one and get that one. I would have been it. Yeah, you would have been it. No, I needed one more after that. Killing him and getting there and then getting one up here, you would have gotten him. I need so, five. Oh, you need five. That's yeah. right. But you, you probably would have killed one of these yeah, units. Yeah, I would have to. Have had to. Oh yeah. Oh, I think that it's kind of weighted towards the Germans almost, simply because getting kills gives you points, and this you just have crazy. more stuff I can shoot at. So all right, it's that's a, true. We have seen that in the past. Yeah. So it's my turn. It is your turn. Go ahead and take um, your kill and your pick and win the game. So, <laughs> thanks. I'm gonna do a center three. You're down a card. I because oh, I played the ambush. The ambush. Right. I draw it at the end of this turn. Uh, play three center, center three. Well, uh, he's just gonna hang out here. That unit's gonna die. Actually, he's gonna run back towards this town. Um, so they'll do three. They'll do two dice. I got a oh my gosh. double infantry. That's crazy. Uh, and then the artillery is three, three, two, two. Uh, can, yeah, can, that's it. Boom. That's it. That's, that's the game. game. Wow, that's incredibly short. I'm I'm really surprised the game ended that quickly. I'm upset. <laughs> I, I'm I'm baffled. I'm so baffled that I was able to do I that. I just rolled terribly. You did. You just had terrible rolls. I was just picking off one at a time, and you just can't do that, especially when he's picking off all your units in one turn. The one the the one turn that I killed two units of tanks. That is, n I've never in any game I've ever played rolled that well. Every turn you decided to shoot, pretty much you were taking a unit. Pretty much, almost. That's wild. That was so incredibly fast. All right, well. Um, I will say, uh, for those watching, this game usually does not play that quickly. It's usually a little bit more drawn out. It's usually a little more even. But the game designers did take into account, um, normally what we would do at this point is we would reset the entire map, uh, putting all the units back, and we would switch sides. Playing the game again, and you total the number of, uh, the the number of medals earned. So if we switch sides and Steven was able to get all five medals and I got zero, he would win. But if he got all five medals and I got two medals playing on the opposite side, then I would win because I got the, t the most total. But chances are Travis would win if we swapped sides because I only got one. Because you only got the, one, the so one guy. this one goes to Travis. Congratulations, sir. That was well, thank you very, much. very well played. That never happens um, when I do that well. Very lucky. Both it your was. cards and your... Uh, Really, your dice rolls. The cards were very well balanced this turn. I was very happy. I, I did you know, not get a single card that I did not like. You know what I was so worried about, though? Uh, the whole time, I was I only had a couple of right flank, which is uh, my right is this side. I only had a couple of those cards. I like these are the other. I had infantry assault and probe <sighs> left. You know what I wanted? Was to what do. I had left. I wanted to push left with all my stuff. Take that town. Take that town. Take that town. Oh yeah, you would and have easily done it. it. Yeah, you because you could just roll through with the. Yeah, tanks. that's what I wanted to do. I was going to ignore this side. So, yeah, well, I think what... I had a lot of great units. I had Probe 2, I had Attack 3 right, I had Barrage, but it's, you know, I, I, can, I only use it for that one turn, and it couldn't move, and I needed to move as much as I could, so I never really got around to using it. I had 3 Center and Recon right, one unit. So, yeah, I mean, it's a... Yeah, I think it was, it was a great game. I just... I got more lucky with this game than I have ever been in any other game. Any game we've ever played. I never got this life. lucky with this game. No, that was incredible. Uh, so do you want to wrap, uh, do you want to wrap this up and we'll drop the camera back down? We'll do a quick little recap of the game and our thoughts on it. Oh, uh, sure. Let's see that. All right. Well, we'll be back in a moment. Well, that was, that was interesting. Yeah, that was, that was, that was different. That was, that was a crazy fast game. It's not what I was expecting. Not at all. Uh, I only, I only ever moved one unit on my uh, right flank over there. Yeah. I mean, there's, and look at these guys just lined up here. <sighs> it's great. I've, I've never, we've never played a game this quick, uh, Memoir. Uh, what we're going to do now, uh, we're going to give you a review of Memoir as a whole, not a review of our game. Though we're going to talk a little bit about what we did mm -hmm. uh, and why we did it. The, the game is, 
uh, Memoir 44 is based on the uh, invasion of Europe by the Allied forces in 1944, where the name comes from. And there are, the base set comes with this board, uh, a bunch of terrain pieces, which are these little tiles, uh, a bunch of units for uh, tanks, artillery, and infantry. And it's a very simple, simplified war game. I would I would call it a war game, but it's it's not going to be. It is a war game. If you if you find someone who calls himself a war gamer, they're probably not going to be talking about a game like this. That might be in their inventory, but it's not yeah. going to be their mind, my their primary uh, yeah. game that they go to for war gaming. Yeah, especially it's it's very basic. Uh, your tanks, your infantry, and your artillery are the only three units. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Uh, they're the only three units that you have in the game. There's not. You know, you have these tanks from this brigade. But the cool thing is, is the game pulls out the historical context in each mission. There's a little blurb about the background of the mission that you're playing and what units are participating and the historical ending of the game. That is one of the things I like about this game is, I mean, it, even especially if you're just playing this with your kid or something, uh, it gives them a little bit of a historical background of the war during that time period, which is kind of neat. It's just a little blurb on the battle. Yeah, it's a good... And uh, from my degree program, I'm a historian, and I love... Uh, World War II's history was always fascinating as a kid. I think anyone that ever had the History Channel, uh, when it was the World War II channel for a while, <laughs> which really pr- pretty much was, um, <laughs> has had some fascination with it. It's you know the last big conflict that enveloped the world that people were still alive in when we that saw it when we grew up. Um, world War One would have been that thirty years prior, but World War II just kind of captured the imagination of the world. And this game, I like about it, it does not glorify the battles. It doesn't glorify the war or the heroism. It's a very abstract strategy that happens to be about a historical conflict. It is. I mean, there is chance in this game. Uh, you have your dice throws and your card draws. Yep. Uh, however, uh, there is strategy to this game. I mean, Travis mentioned before that some people argue there's no strategy. There is. Uh, you still have to choose which uh, out of your cards that you have available. You still have to choose which front you want to work on, your focus, and uh, you try to outplay your opponent. Yeah, and that's one of the one of the hard things about it that I found is picking these cards uh, when you have them. Um, you know, you'll you'll be presented with choices, uh, and this is a choice you get kind of often. Uh, you have a pincer move, which allows you to move two units on each side, or a card that allows you to move a bunch of units in the middle. And depending on the mission you're playing, you know, in this mission, neither of us really had too many units in the middle, which I thought was kind of odd. No, we but, didn't. It, but there was a lot of trees in the middle too when we started off. And the game tells you where to start units off at and where to um, some different special abilities that they each have and that sort of thing. And this one, it was pretty blank, uh, pretty plain, but we'd have to worry about too much of that. Uh, but the the victory conditions change between every mission, and because of that, you can't use the same strategy each and every time. You can't say, well, I'm just going to rush up on the left side always, and that's how I'll win, and I'll place all my units over there. No, you're given something, and that's what you have to stick with. Uh, That's what you have to start with, and you have to figure out, how do I win based on what I have? Uh, And I think because it allows you to switch sides, or it encourages you even to Mm -hmm. switch sides after you've played a mission to try to allow the other side, it encourages you not only to play the game twice, but to try to prevent the other player from using your strategy against you. Right, and it's also for game balance. Uh, For instance, in some of the earlier uh, battles in the uh, book that are provided, it's very weighted towards the Allies or towards the Germans, and the only way to really have an even game is for each player to take a turn playing the other side. And it's really easy to see that imbalance in the game, Uh, especially when you play some and you look. uh, This looked like a much more imbalanced game than it was, because I had very few units as the Germans, and the Allies had, I think, tw- over twice as twice the number of units. Mm-hmm. But if you look, they had heavier defensive positions. Uh, the tank, the infantry units were in the towns. The tanks can't even touch them, um, and the artillery. Uh, I think my biggest mistake was getting too close with my tanks at first, right at the beginning. Uh, I wanted to take out the barbed wire, and I should have just stayed back and shot from there, so you couldn't get three dice on me. With yeah, the and that, and, and that's sort of you know that's a mistake that. Um, very very early on, we, we learned how to play. Now, the cool thing about Memoir... I guess I did. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we hadn't played so yeah, long. Yeah, I know. The cool thing about Memoir, um, you can tell by the board that there's little like half hexes on the sides. You can buy another copy of the base set and attach the boards together to make a board that's twice as wide. Obviously, you need a bigger table 
than like a card table. A card table will not hold this. Uh, the company that makes Memoir, I don't know why their name just left me, um, which I will promise you I'll find in a moment. Um, my goodness, I feel terrible. It's WizKids, isn't it? No, no it's not WizKids. I believe... Oh, the, box the box is on the other side of the room. So, to the company that made this game, and I've just forgotten your name, I deeply apologize. <laughs> you you want to read the box real quick? Uh, I'll just pull out my phone and pull it up. Okay. So, uh, when, when you're talking next, I'll pull it up. But the game is almost infinitely expandable. Now that we've talked around a tree for that. Uh, you can add multiple maps together. They released, this past year, they released a D-Day Invasion pack, which contained, if you wanted to play the entire mission, or the entire invasion of Normandy, it's six boards that are larger than this, uh, they're longer and wider, and they line up across a table. Yeah, I think it's almost like 10 feet wide. Wow. How it's, many players? Uh, you can play with just two. Really? Technically. Okay. I mean, you can always play with just two, if you, but it will take forever. Uh, the cool thing about the game is the when it expands to the Overlord scenario, which you can get the Overlord rules free online um, uh, directly from the manufacturer's website, you can play with up to four people per side. One person plays the overall commander, the commander of the kind of like the, the Eisen, like the Eisenhower, yeah, like the Supreme Commander is what he is uh, on each side, and then the other three are given a flank: uh, the left flank, the right flank, and the center flank. And is a center called a flank? I think I think it, I think it would be called because they're called they're they're well, called each play. It says in the rules, it's like each player gets a flank. Well, that's that's true. Or I guess it's a column would be what it would be called. Each player gets a column, left column, right column, center column. I always think sides when I think flank. Yeah, I know. Um, but each player gets those, and the overall general gives out the cards that he wants used in each of those locations. And those players then decide what units to give orders to. So you get a really cool, uh, really cool chain of mechanic, chain of command mechanic, where each each player who's given a card is suddenly they go, okay, I'm in the center, and I've been given I've been given a pincer move, and they look at that, and that means that they get to play, um, they get to do the pincer move on their side, and if you're on the right, let's say Steven was playing the right flank commander, we would. If I was handed this, I would show it to him. We would both move two units up. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't coordinate what we were doing necessarily. We could just act on our own and not even care, but it could work out with whoever is in the center. And it's a really cool, really cool thing to allow multiple people to play this. And I say all this, I know I've been talking a lot. I say all this because if I'm playing with my nephew, if Steven was over and my nephew was here, I would give my nephew command of a flank. Mm -hmm. And then I would give him the card to play so he had limited choices mm -hmm. but could still make those decisions that have an outcome in the game. So, while well, you uh, kind of share some of your thoughts on it. Um, one of the, we were talking about the expansions a minute ago, and uh, the actually the last mission in the uh, book that comes with the game, it's the uh, D-Day landings, and it actually requires two of the original uh, maps. And... We had, I had just per actually purchased this game before Travis did, surprisingly. Uh, I don't remember what got me uh, looking at this game, but uh, I picked it up before he did. And uh, we played it and played it, and we flipped through the back because it's going through, and it's like, oh my goodness, there's a D-Day map that is twice as big. And so he bought his own copy. <laughs> and yeah, as soon as it got in, we ripped it open. Uh, we threw the two sets together on, our dining on the dining room table in there and just... Went to town with it, uh, and it took a long time to play. Longer than this, it was did. fun though. Longer than this playthrough did. I remember losing badly. So, uh, I'm gonna. It is Days of Wonder is the uh, company right. that makes this, this game. I was thinking Asmodee made it. Right. Reason being, Asmodee bought Days of Wonder this past year. Oh, so well, it is Asmodee then. Um, and well, technically, and uh, Asmodee also bought Fantasy Flight. Is that kind oh, of a cool thing? I forgot thing? about that. I'm gonna actually kind of clean this off real quick. Just because I don't want to make too big of a mess. What are we doing? Uh, I'm going to show the back of the board. Oh, okay. Um, we'll clean all this up later. You're going to flip over? I'm oh, just okay. going to lay it like this. Um, the board has a uh, D-Day landing side. So there's two sides to the board on the map, and it's <laughs> which is kind of cool. Um, so you, I think the first like five or six missions, you use this side. Pretty much. And then you're in France, and you use the other. We just right. kind of fold it up now. And you have mountains and hills and... Uh... There's all sorts of the little terrain. bits of terrain. Um, also, there are Pacific Theater map packs. There's Mediterranean map packs. There's 
Eastern Front map packs. The five, the there's expand the expansion to give you. Uh, does it give more units in the expansion? There's some some expansions give you more units. I think the Mediterranean map pack introduces British units. Okay. The like the um, kind of the brown color. Uh, yeah, it's a different color. Yeah. I don't remember what it is though. It actually might be brown. Uh, and they which is are. <laughs> which is really which is really cool that you get that additional uh, that additional way to play with new units and then. This is all official stuff that's come out for this game. More and more, all these different maps, all these different missions, and then there's so many fan-based mm-hmm. missions. Uh, uh, the great thing about these maps is anybody can just take it and post a layout that worked for them and they really enjoyed playing online, and you can get that and just take your uh, your uh, train and just build it and set the units out where they thought it was a good point or anywhere you think would be a good spot and uh, just play you don't have to go by for those off of the uh, book. You can just make your own. And it's, it's a really neat opportunity. Uh, one thing I, w- I will say, one of the things that early on turned me off from this game was playing through uh, one particular mission as the Point to Hope mission uh, where the Rangers assault uh, a cliffside. Uh, I was playing as the Americans. Stephen was playing as the Germans. And the entire right flank on the American side has no units that start there. And every single card that I had in my hand was a right flank only card. And every time, you can always play a card even if you can't order any units, and you get to draw a new card at the end of the turn, every single time that I did that, I drew a right flank card. And so I was pretty much massacred in the ocean. Mm-hmm. There was nothing I could do. Steven ended up just moving his uh, units up to the beach and just open fired, and I could not stop. I uh, couldn't stop him. It had nothing to do with any decision I made. It just had to do with the, um, the shuffling of the cards. It just happened to end up that way. When we ended up playing the Overlord mission, however, reading the Overlord rules that were uh, on Days of Wonders website, it said that if a uh, yeah. if <laughs> I'm losing my voice or something, if a general, if one of the players, if you did not issue a card to that flank, you could you could um, issue the order to one unit of your choice, and you couldn't draw a card, you couldn't do anything. And so what we ended up doing was making kind of a house rule that if we were ever in a position where we could do nothing, we could discard the one card like you normally would, but it allowed you to issue an order to a single unit anywhere on the battlefield. And that sounds like it might be a little powerful, but both players can it's do not. it. And it gives you just enough where you could say, okay, I'm at least dishing out some damage. I'm at least holding on. I mean, you're, you're still getting rid of a card mm-hmm. and you're playing just one. So it's... It's worse than a recon. Yeah, which and allows you to draw a card that, and look at two of them. Exactly. I really don't think it hurts the game at all. If anything, it helps with balance. Because that way you don't have the other player just overpowering you while your cards are useless. So, And once once we introduced that into our regular games, it suddenly it, well, it was a lot more fun. And, oh, I can't do anything this turn. Well, let me just throw this card out that I don't need. And boom, I can do something. I've drawn a card I can use. And now we can keep the game moving. Uh, which I think is really a rule I wish was in the base game. I wish that was introduced earlier on, and maybe it'll be added in a later change. Who knows? Uh, so, uh, final thoughts on the game? Uh, I'm going to play it again. Definitely. <laughs> I love this game. Uh, we've played, I, I think, like 15 games or so. Uh, yeah, and we've got, I think, that was our 11th, mission, 16th mission, because we played the last one. No, that was the D-Day's the 17th, so we got five more left to play. Mm-hmm. And we will be through with the mission book, and uh, yeah. And that's the mission book that comes with uh, that comes with the base set. There are campaign guides that are outside of the base set. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, this just this past year, a strategy guide was released for the game. That's various strategies for different units, for different setups, for different terrain, for different missions. I think it's like two hundred pages oh, wow. of Memoir Forty Four strategy. That's wild. <laughs> uh, it it does cover all of the other equipment packs and the air oh, okay. pack that and all that sense. stuff. Um, Even includes the air pack. It doesn't. It has some stuff about the air pack. Uh, there is an air pack available. It's hard to get. And apparently, it didn't add too much to the game. Yeah, from what so I've it's, heard, it's not popular. They don't make it anymore. So that's that's just one of those things. Uh, but definitely, we'll be playing it again. Looking forward to getting once we finish up the last few missions. I'm looking forward to get a couple of the expansions just to try them out. And we'll probably do a review on those as well once yeah. we get them in. We'll try to bring you all along for that. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Sun comes up and rises high.